How's it going everyone? This is the One Timers. We got Matt Ostro here on the phone calling in all the way from Minneapolis. Justin Thomas here in Lyme, Ohio. What's up, Matt? How you been? I'm uh, doing well. Excited for soccer to start. I mean, four years feels like an eternity. I feel like I was doing I still hadn't got to puberty the last time I woke up as it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited for meaningful soccer to happen and it's gonna be definitely an exciting tournament. I, I'm excited too. I mean, I've been watching all the qualifiers last year, just getting all geared up. I mean, you, we, you and I both, we were both watching uh, USA and the qualifiers, the hex and everything like that. I'm excited for this year. Absolutely. I think, I think there's a lot of new teams that are coming up. There's definitely a lot of young talent. And then there's also always the old, old uh, guards, you know, those, those some teams that just always are good. Mm -hmm. They'll always be there. So it's definitely be a, kind of a wide open tournament, I think. Too many people are kind of just writing Brazil in, in my opinion. I mean, we'll get to that later, but I think it's definitely more of a wide open World Cup than I think most people think. Yeah, I mean, it's always tough when you when you're on the South American continent because no European team has won a World Cup when it's in South America. So if you're going off of that logic, there's only really uh, a couple teams that have a really good chance. But obviously, you, you know, you never know what's going to happen in a World Cup. Absolutely, I think. Another thing I think they're going into is pretty interesting is Spain has been pretty dominant with everything they've been doing in the international level with the World Cup. And, uh, I believe they won the Euro Cup, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yep. in 2012 as well. And I don't know if a team has ever won the World Cup, the Euro, then the World Cup again. That'd be pretty, I don't know if there's a word for it. It'd be so, so new. Yeah, I think um, I think Spain was the first team to ever win uh, three majors back to back. Now that was the Euro in 08, the World Cup in 10, and then the Euro again in 12. France came really close because um, they what World Cup was that? The 98 World Cup. I think the 98 World Cup. They, yeah, was that it? When it was in France, they beat Brazil three nil to win the cup, and then they won the I believe it was the next Euro, the 2000 Euro. They came close. They didn't quite get all three. But, yeah, Spain is the first team to, to win three majors. Um, obviously, I don't know if it's necessarily biased or anything, but obviously Europe has the most competition. So that is that is a very exclusive stage. Nothing to take away from, uh, you know, the other um, association cups, uh, you know, the African Cup of Nations, the Asian Cup, uh, Gold Cup, uh, you know, the, the Copa America. Um, but obviously, with just how good the talent pool is in Europe, um, to win two consecutive Euros and a World Cup in between that, that's pretty impressive. That's big time. We'll call it the L trade, I think, maybe. I don't know if they win it. I don't know. They can call it whatever they want. They win it. They, they deserve <laughs> whatever. They can do whatever they want, really, at that point. That's true. They, but, you know. Get in the Group A. Let's yeah. Get in the Group A, JT. I'm, I'm excited. This is where the, the host that are so nice to let everyone come to their country and play soccer <laughs> and spend a couple billion dollars and uh, run around their city. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to be tourists there. I don't know if some of it's going to be interesting. It's a very, well, I understand not much about geography. Brazil is a very large, uh, very large uh, country, a lot, kind of like the U.S., how there's a lot of there's mountains, there's deserts, there's swamps, there's yeah. pretty much everything you can ask for. So it should be a big thing to watch is where people are playing, uh, Effectively to the climate. Absolutely. Now, uh, you you got the, the full out scale. You can tell me what cities everyone's going to be playing in. Um, but let's break down Group A. Uh, obviously, like you said, the host Brazil. We got a very strong European team in there, Croatia. Um, Mexico, obviously, I'll try. Uh, Kind of drug into the World Cup by the United States with the with the goals by Zusi and Johansson to to bring them in to beat Panama. That was funny. Yeah, you know, but they did they did smoke New Zealand and the continental playoff, and then a very good uh, uh, squad from Africa, uh, the C Cameroon, I believe the the Golden Lions. You know, I was cheering for New Zealand there, JT. My old my old community there. We had some old battles in with Ryan Nelson. Unfortunately, the Cuban team had about a one. That's beside the point. Anyway, <laughs> uh, for, as far as the hosts are concerned, I think it's pretty much unless. The bus doesn't doesn't run and they can't get to the seal. I think there's a very, there's no way Brazil doesn't win the group. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, obviously there's some there's some competition there, but um, the things I, I mean Brazil obviously they're always dynamic. You got the amazing uh, 
that amazing passing. I don't know if you caught the highlights earlier today, but they put on a, somewhat of a clinic today against Panama. I think it was 4-0. Yeah. Uh, Neymar showed why he has all the heights and is supposed to be the next, uh, next guy in line to be the best player. He had an amazing back heel assist to the guy with the superhero name, Hulk. And then he had a, a Beckham-like free kick. So they definitely have a lot of talent and dynamics, so I should be interested to see what they can do yeah. uh, moving forward. I'm excited as well. I mean, this is a team that um, really there's only one one or two teams that could really compete with them when they had the uh, Confederations Cup last year. Um, we'll get to those teams a little bit later. But, I mean, Brazil was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Fred, I mean, he really burst onto the scene, uh, had, a, had a, a great tournament. And, obviously, you got a lot of good names from, from all the top European leagues. Obviously, you said Neymar. Um, there's Oscar, uh, uh, David Luiz. And now we got uh, Julio Cesar playing goalkeeper for Toronto FC here in the MLS. The things that, the, the, I mean, obviously this time because I'm getting mixed, but you, the things that worry me with Brazil a little bit is I think sometimes Brazil, they have problems winning the games that are maybe physical or maybe their, their one-two passes in the close areas aren't quite clicking. So the thing I worry about Brazil is they, if they run into a, a team, uh, I mean, Theoretically, a team like a Greece or a Bosnia Hurts goal that wants to play guys behind the ball and they get frustrated, uh, it could be a problem. Another big issue, I think, uh, is the inexperience uh, with some of their big players, team are 22. And then the last thing that worry, would worry me is Brazil picking them to win the whole thing is uh, two of their, the two back guys, two center backs, I believe, uh, David Ruiz and Dante, are, are pretty clumsy guys. They're big, strong. <laughs> Very obviously talented guys, but I mean, I could see, I could see one of them, especially Dante, getting a red card in one of those games, really uh, costing him in a knockout stage. That's getting this picky little part of those, but those are the weaknesses that I see as well. Yeah, I mean, I can agree with you on that. Uh, obviously, um, in the World Cup, last World Cup, 2010, um, Brazil did hit that. They had uh, a very physical team in the Dutch, um, and and also um, I think it was Macon got a red card. Uh, so that really kind of changed the game in a sense. They, they were frustrated. Um, I mean, the Netherlands is a very physical team uh, and really put them out of their element, ended up winning that game 2-1, and obviously the Dutch obviously finished runner-up in, in that World Cup. Also, I think there's a lot of pressure on these guys. You know, you said there's a lot of guys that are very young. Um, I, I mean, I feel like these guys can compete at, at the greatest stage in the world, but what could get under them a little bit is if, you know that those games start to get kind of frustrating, uh, you know, especially when you get to the knockout stages, and you know that you're on home soil, you're on home turf, and you got all your fans who have so much expectations. Because really, uh, not to say they haven't done anything, um, but really they haven't they haven't had that success after that 2002 World Cup when they beat Germany. Uh, they kind of not the, they didn't fall off the map, but they just weren't Brazil in a sense. Absolutely, I think there's definitely pressure Brazil besides winning. It you got to get those goals that you'll see in those Nike commercials with Eric Cantona. They, they, don't, they don't just want you to win. They want you to win and definitely make it beautiful as well. Absolutely. Now, I'm thinking, you and I both agree that Brazil's going to win the group. I think that if, if, if that doesn't happen, I don't, I'd be worried for players. I, it might be a, a small riot and <laughs> that the health of Brazil. That's, I mean, that'd be a scary proposition, but I think, unless, like I said, unless the bus breaks down on the way to the stadium, mm -hmm. it's pretty, very hard to believe that Brazil doesn't win. Exactly. Now, we got three other really good teams in this group. Croatia, That's Mexico, awesome. and Cameroon. Uh, I mean... Also, if you ask me, I don't know. If you go any way, I should... I, th I think so, too. I I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I think Mexico is going to be the second team out of that group. Because since, even though they lost that last game to, I, I believe it was against Costa Rica that they lost, but then they made it through still because of USA beating Panama. I mean, they they destroyed New Zealand. Now, obviously, there's there's a big difference um, in uh, the really the caliber. Obviously, New Zealand wins Oceania, but still has to play the play-in. Uh, but Mexico absolutely destroyed them, and then they just looked fantastic, really, in my opinion, the last several games, um, and really kind of without some of their stars. Uh, Dos Santos, I mean, Chicharitos has been struggling, uh, but but yet Mexico really kind of 
I'm, after what they went through three coaches, I think, in in, a, in the hex. Uh, but really, I think they're starting to click the right cylinders at the right time. Um, and I, I mean, obviously, there's a big difference between the Olympics and uh, the World Cup. But they did win the gold medal over Brazil in the uh, the Olympics in London. I, I kind of disagree. I really think I don't. I don't think Mexico quite makes it out of the group stage. I think I think Croatia is really a team that's been kind of underrated, and it, um, and I think they've been kind of the favorable draw. They got Luka Modric. I don't know if you saw the pictures. He got his haircut, I believe, after a bet after <laughs> Madrid won the won the Champions League. So they might want to check out his new. He's got the foreign locks and more of the short hair. And then they have uh, the Bayern Munich frontman. Uh, Mario Mandusnik, who's been, I would, I'm not sure how you say it, uh, but <laughs> he's been kind of, he, uh, he, he scored a lot of goals in qualifying, so I, I, I see Croatia getting out. I think Cameroon's no one to look past. Right. Metso uh, is big time. Uh, they just tied Germany 2 2, so I mean, I just don't see Mexico. I think there's too much drama there. That's fair. I, I mean,. And like you said, it really is a toss-up. That's three really good sides um, that really have uh, ample opportunities to be the second team out there. And, you know, you never know. Maybe the pressure is too much for Brazil. Somehow, you know, two of those three come out and Brazil doesn't. I mean, very kind of unlikely you, you think Brazil is going to get out of the group. But that, like you said, that is a very tough group uh, for Group A. Um, so I'm saying Brazil, Mexico. You're saying Brazil and, and Croatia, if I'm not mistaken, then? I believe I'm on the record. Put it, put it down, rise in the snow, and that's what I, what, what I want.